Hey. So I'm going to talk about dying purples. Um, I, I first I want to say that uh, this energy are, is hard right now. Like, it's weird. I know that in this recovery, I need to let this go. But at this point, it's like, I woke up this morning to the sound of the Diane Poor Herbals director on the radio. And I can see this whole thing playing out. Like I sat in the meetings for years and years and years about how she is, she's, she's trapped. She's, she's pushing as hard as she can to try to get, but what she's really doing is she's pushing to get the guru's pleasure and she has intense pressure on her. So um, she's on the radio. She's talking about Diamond Pearl Herbals. She's trying to be a spokesperson for this product, right? And she's gifted. She's smart. She's articulate. She's a good leader. But wow, what she goes through behind the scenes is 100% brutal for her spiritual, you know, benefit. And um, so I woke up this morning and I hear this woman on the radio and wow, I, I'm going to tell you, we knew each other really intimately. Like, anyway, I don't want to tell too much of her story, but I know her really well. <laughs> so I hear her voice and I had to go turn it off because I was like, oh my God. Okay, so... So I'm reading that Diamond Pearl Herbals is having workshops out of the farm and um, I'm just going to be really transparent here. I look on the Facebook page and on their Facebook page and they have 19 reviews and they're all positive and I'm like, oh my God. Okay, so when the Sufis, when Dean brought the Sufis to town and bought land out in north of Anna... Um, I mean, th there's so much good shit. Here's the thing. There's so much good shit. I mean, organic farming is great. Herbal medicine is great. Like, great, 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 right? Um, but the brutality behind it, the push behind it is... So, so the person who initially established the herb garden and who brought all of their years of study to the beginning of the production of this herb garden was, you know, brutally fired from his position and never came back. And over time, there were a lot of different people who tried to develop the herbals business. And it was all volunteer labor at first. Um, I personally spent hours and hours and hours developing recipe. Like, I, I didn't develop the recipes because I wasn't a good herbal guy, but I was a bakery guy. So I knew how to make things efficient and I helped them with their numbers. And I, I don't know, I, 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 and, and there were, every week there were volunteers who helped. So none of this was paid. Now, what happens in the in the Sufis is they know they have to be financially legitimate, even though the Long Branch has gotten in a lot of trouble lately. They have to, so they 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 dot their eyes and cross their t's. And um, so I don't know, six, seven, eight years ago, maybe five. I don't know. Um, a woman who's been part of the Sufis since just before I was, so she was probably ninety six became, in, was put in charge of Diamond Jumper Herbals. And the way that works is that the guru suddenly says, you do herbals, you're in charge of it. So without any experience in herbal medicine at all, she takes it over. Now she's a, she's a business person and she has a lot of money independently, which is a whole other topic. So whether or not she gets paid is unclear. She probably does pull some kind of salary, but then um, gives it all 
back in various ways, certainly in her time and in her, uh, everything she does. Um, and, uh, she's under intense pressure to always be expanding it. So, uh, it's really tricky because it's like, I mean, you know, local business, herbals, you know, yeah, <laughs> you know, sell them at the co-op. I mean, but I know what it feels like to be in there. And I also know what it feels like to have that constant pressure on you to expand and be better and be more. And um, how she's treated brutally. And how she, if confronted with this information, will go, no, she will deny it but I've seen it. Um, and how, how can you, you cannot run an expanded, creative, inspired business when you're under the thumb of true tyranny. And the tyranny takes the form of a, a guru to whom we took, we pledged obedience who at any point can punish her, demote her, fire her, um, dismiss her, uh, and certainly in a thousand ways, give her the cold shoulder emotionally. I mean, there's no boundaries. So her spiritual, physical, emotional well-being is, um, privy to whatever whims and moods he decides to be in. So, yeah. And now that I work at the co-op, I have thought about approaching them like, do you know what this organization is like? Do you care about what, um, how things are produced? And I know they do, but it's tricky right now because, you know, I got to watch my own. You know, I'm so, I'm st still so full of, I'm still so angry that I have to be a little bit careful about putting myself in positions that will make me vulnerable. So I'm just trying to say what I know and I'm trying to say it directly and I'm trying not to um, get involved social media or anywhere in a thing that's a direct attack. So I'm sharing this information. Um, so it's kind of like for kids' sake. There's a, like there's a legitimate operation happening here. There's people who there's a legitimate product. Like there's not fraud going on. You know, I don't believe that there's fraud going on, but there is infinite pressure put on human beings who live under a vulnerable, um, in a very vulnerable, stressful environment. And what they will do in that environment is give everything that they have. So it's, it's fundamentally oppressive and dangerous. So that's the pressure cooker that creates these healthy products for you. And just to think about it makes my stomach hurt. So as beautiful and lovely as they are, we don't use our Diamper Herbal products anymore. We, we got rid of all of them because just because... We know if you're a believer in this kind of thing, it would matter to you that these products are made under, under great stress. That's real.